Apologies can be tough but we're here to make it easier. The English language possesses a rich vocabulary for expressing regret, and today we delve into 10 different ways to say sorry. First off the classic, I apologize. This phrase conveys sincerity and formality. Picture a scenario where you've accidentally stepped on someone's foot in a crowded subway. A simple, I apologize, can go a long way. Next up, I'm sorry. It's the most common phrase used to express regret. For instance imagine forgetting a friend's birthday, a heartfelt I'm sorry I forgot your special day can help mend the situation. The third phrase, pardon me, often gets used in informal casual settings. Suppose you bump into someone while navigating a busy sidewalk, a quick pardon me can soothe any ruffled feathers. Fourthly, my apologies, another formal way to express regret. Consider a situation where you've made a mistake at work, telling your boss, my apologies for the oversight shows you take responsibility for your actions. Moving on to the fifth phrase, I beg your pardon. This one carries an old-fashioned charm, perfect for when you didn't catch what someone just said. I beg your pardon, could you please repeat that? Is both polite and apologetic. Our sixth phrase, forgive me, is more personal, suitable for situations where you've wronged someone close to you. Picture a scenario where you've unintentionally hurt a loved one's feelings, saying, forgive me I didn't mean to upset you, can help start the healing process. The seventh phrase is, I didn't mean to. This one works best when you've done something unintentionally. Imagine accidentally spilling a drink on someone at a party. I didn't mean to, I'm so clumsy, can diffuse the situation. For the eighth phrase we have, excuse me. This one's perfect for gaining attention or expressing regret for a minor inconvenience. Picture needing to get by someone in a narrow aisle. And excuse me, I need to get by, is both apologetic and considerate. Our penultimate phrase is, my bad. This casual slang phrase is great for less formal situations. For instance, if you accidentally take someone's coffee at a cafe, a quick, my bad, I thought it was mine, can clear up the confusion. Finally the tenth phrase, I owe you an apology. This one's perfect for acknowledging your mistake and taking responsibility. Imagine forgetting to meet a friend for lunch, and I owe you an apology, I completely forgot about our lunch, shows you recognize your mistake. So there you have it, 10 different ways to express regret in the English language. Remember the key to a good apology is sincerity. Practice these phrases in your daily interactions and see how they can help smooth over any bumps along the way. Be kind, be sincere and most of all be unafraid to admit when you're wrong. After all to err is human, to apologize, divine.